It used to take a team, a studio, and five grand to make one great video. Now it takes 15 minutes, a laptop, and 20 bucks. If that doesn't make you rethink everything about marketing, it should. What used to need cameras, editors, and big agencies now fit inside one browser tab. The people who move fast will own every feed, every platform, every scroll and everyone else, they'll still be waiting on edits from their video guy. Hey everyone, I'm Jake Dawson, and if you've been following me, you know I help business owners like you cut through the AI noise so you can actually use this stuff to save time and money. I don't code, I don't have a tech team. What I do have is a proven process for turning complicated AI tools into simple systems that work. And today we're diving into Sora 2, OpenAI's brand new AI video generator that dropped at the end of September and just got huge updates in October. This isn't one of those someday tools. It's real, it's here, and it's already changing how businesses make video content. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it, what it costs, what to avoid, and how you can turn this into a competitive edge before everyone else catches on. By the end of this video, you'll know how to make professional videos for ads, social media product demos, and testimonials without hiring a videographer. And hey, if you want to go a little bit deeper and actually build some automations and implement tools like this with me, I've got a private school community where I share my templates, walkthroughs, and help you set everything up step-by-step. Step. Honestly, it's where all the good stuff lives. There's a link for that in the description below. All right, let's get into it. Let's start with what Sora 2 actually is and why it's such a big deal for your business. Sora 2 is OpenAI's second generation AI video creator. You just type what you wanna see like a customer opening a package and smiling. And in about three minutes, it gives you a full video with synced audio. No cameras, no actors, no editing skills, just a text box and your imagination. It's kind of like typing a movie idea in and getting the movie back a few minutes later. And here's why this matters. Businesses all over are using Sora 2 for Facebook ads, Instagram reels, product explainers, even client testimonials. And they're doing it for pennies compared to traditional video production. Something that would have cost more than 50 grand the old way. You're paying 20 bucks a month. Guys, that's over 95% cheaper. So if you've ever said, I can't afford to make more video content, well, that excuse just expired. Let's talk about what makes Sora 2 different from the first version because Sora 1 looked cool, but it wasn't exactly ready for business. Sora 2 though, this thing actually delivers. First big upgrade, physics that don't look fake. In Sora 1, you had random floating objects or people walking through walls like it was a bad video game. Sora 2 fixed all of that. Now if you make a video of coffee being poured into a cup, the liquid actually flows like it should. No more floating mugs or phantom hands. Next up, synchronized audio. And this one's huge. Sora 1 was completely silent. So you had to add sound manually, which was a pain, Sora 2 adds everything automatically. Dialogue, background music, and sound effects. You can literally type a woman saying, this changed my business in a sunny office. And Sora gives you her voice, the line, and even the ambient office sounds. It's all done for you. Total game changer. Third, no more wardrobe malfunctions. Sora 1 used to randomly change a character's outfit halfway through a video. You'd have someone in a blue shirt at the start, and then suddenly it's red by the end. Sora 2 finally keeps your people looking consistent, which is super important if you're building brand videos or recurring characters. Number four, editing without starting over. This is the one that made me sit back and actually say, okay, th this is real now. Before, if something was off, you had to regenerate the entire thing from scratch. Now you can just remix or recut the same clip. You change the background, you extend the length, or you tweak little details, all without losing your work. It's like finally having an undo button for AI video. And the last upgrade, the cameo feature. This one's wild. You can upload your face and your voice and Sora puts you directly inside the video. You could make 50 personalized testimonial videos for clients and you only have to record yourself once. So you're not just saving money, you're saving hours of filming and editing time. Imagine recording one short clip of you saying, hey, I just wanted to thank you for working with us. And then Sora turns that into 50 different personalized messages. That's not just cool, that's powerful marketing automation. 
All right, so now let's talk about how to actually get access to Sora 2 and what it costs. As of October 2025, there are three main options, free, plus, and pro on OpenAI. And yeah, I've tried all of them, so let me save you some time. First up, the free tier. It's available right now on iPhone and iPad, and it's good if you just wanna play around or test the waters. You can make short clips, about eight to 10 seconds, and they're lower quality, around 720p, and they'll have a watermark. Basically, it's a fun way to see what Sora can do, but not something you'd actually use for business. If you're planning to post real content, skip this one, move on to ChatGPT Plus Plan. This is the sweet spot for most small business owners. It's 20 bucks a month, and it'll give you 15 second videos in full HD, 1080p with no watermark. And this is the one that I use most because it's fast, it's affordable, and you can make professional videos without all the fuss. And the cool part, you also get access to ChatGPT Plus, which means you can use it for your other business tasks like writing scripts, generating ideas, or even planning your ad copy. And then there's the pro plan, that's 200 bucks a month. Now, this one's for the heavy hitters, people who are creating content every day or running an agency. You can make longer videos up to about 25 seconds and the quality is noticeably higher. You can also get something called the storyboard feature, which lets you plan your videos shot by shot. Super useful if you're building out ad campaigns or product demos that need precise timing. On top of that, pro users get priority processing. So your videos generate faster even when the servers are busy. If you're pumping out a lot of content, this upgrade saves you a ton of waiting time. And one small thing, if you're on Android, the app isn't out yet, but OpenAI confirmed that it is coming soon. So for now, if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, you're good to go. Now, if you're not sure which one to start with, here's my recommendation. Just go with the $20 ChatGPT Plus plan. Test it out for a month, make a few videos, and see how it fits into your workflow. If you find yourself making five or more videos a week or building them for clients, then it, maybe it's worth upgrading to Pro. But for most business owners, Plus is more than enough to start creating scroll-stopping videos right now. All right, let's move into the fun part the step-by-step -step process to actually make your first video. And trust me, it's way simpler than most tutorials make it seem. Step one, plan your video. Take five minutes and just write down what's happening, who's in it, where it takes place, and what the mood is. You don't need a storyboard or anything fancy, just be clear about what you want to show. For example, a 40-year-old business owner sitting in a modern office, looking relieved while checking their laptop. Warm lighting, calm music, that's enough to give Sora direction. Step two, write your prompt. This is the part that makes or breaks your result. Be specific about what you want. The subject, the action, the setting, the camera angle, lighting, and any dialogue. A bad prompt would be something like, person in an office. That's way too vague. Sora doesn't know what to do with that. A good prompt would sound like, medium shot of a confident woman in a blue blazer sitting at a wooden desk in a bright modern office, smiling while typing on the laptop. Natural morning light from large windows, soft ambient piano music. She says, this tool saved me 10 hours this week. That's detailed enough for the AI to give you exactly what you're picturing. Step three, generate your video. This part takes about five minutes. Pick your aspect ratio before you start. 9 by 16 if you're making content for TikTok or Instagram, 16 by 9 if it's for YouTube or your website. Set the duration. I'd recommend starting with 10 to 12 seconds for your first few runs. Then hit generate, sit back, and maybe grab a coffee, or just stare at the loading bar and question your life choices. Either, either one works. Once your video is ready, step four, review and tweak. Hit play and check everything. Does it look like how you imagined it? Are the movements natural? Is the audio clear? If something feels off, don't start over, just use the remix option. That lets you fix little issues like lighting, background, or timing without regenerating the whole thing from scratch. After a few tries, you'll be able to go from idea to finished video in 10 minutes or less. That's less time than it takes most people to open their editing software and find their project file. All right, let's talk about the five biggest mistakes people are making when it comes to using Sora 2 and how to avoid them. Look, I've tested this thing dozens of times and trust me, these are the ones that will waste your time, your money, and your patience if you don't know what to look for. Mistake number one, we covered it before, vague prompts. This is the number one killer of good results. Again, if you just type something like 
make a video about my product, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Sora is not a mind reader. It needs details. Describe exactly what you see in your head, the colors, the actions, the emotions, even the camera angle. For example, instead of a video about coffee, say close up of hot coffee being poured into a white mug on a wooden table with sunlight coming through the window. That's how you get the good stuff. Mistake number two, too many moving parts. People try to cram everything into one 10 second clip. Five people talking, three actions, and a camera that's doing backflips. It's too much. Keep it simple, one main subject, one main action. Once you've nailed that, then you can add more complexity. Think of it like cooking. Start with one good recipe before you open your own restaurant. Mistake number three, expecting perfect text or logos. As of right now, Sora still struggles with rendering text. So if you ask it to show your logo perfectly, it's probably gonna look like your cat walked across the keyboard. Instead, make your video clean and simple, then add text overlays later using something like Canva or CapCut. Both are free and easy to use and they look professional. Don't fight the AI, just finish the job afterward. Mistake number four, ignoring physics cues. This one's actually pretty funny when it goes wrong. If you tell Sora a cup falls off of table, it might just float gently through space like it's in zero gravity. You have to describe the motion realistically. Say, a glass mug slides off the wooden table and it falls down with gravity shattering on the floor. That one little detail with gravity makes all the difference. Otherwise, you might end up with ghost cups. And finally, mistake number five, not using reference anchors. Ever notice how sometimes uh, the character looks slightly different from one frame to the next? That's because Sora doesn't always know who it's supposed to keep consistent. So give it a few specific details like woman in a red blazer, silver watch, short brown hair, and round glasses. That's how you lock in the character's look so it doesn't change mid scene. The more detail you give it, the better your consistency. All right, now that you know how to avoid those, I wanna circle back to the cameo feature because this is where Sword 2 stops being cool AI and starts giving you a real edge. Cameo basically lets you record yourself once, a short 10 to 15 second clip, and then Sora 2 can drop you into any scene that you describe after that. Your face, your voice, your style, reused across as many videos as you want without having to refilm every time. Think about what that unlocks. You can spin up personalized outreach videos where it looks like you're speaking directly to specific prospects. You can batch testimonial style clips, onboarding messages, or quick check-in videos for clients. So I wanna post this. This is the real structure that I use every time I create a Sora prompt. For example, medium close-up of a confident business owner in a Navy suit and silver watch reviewing papers in a bright modern office with large windows. Slow dolly push in, calm focus move, soft piano background music. At three seconds, he says, this changed everything. This works because it gives Sora all the key pieces that it needs. The subject, action, setting, camera, mood, audio, and timing, instead of making the guesses. So next time you're writing your prompt, use this template. Keep it clear, specific, and visual, just like you're describing a movie scene. Once you do, you'll notice your results go from pretty good to, wow, I can actually use this in my business. Now, here's one warning I'll give you. When you start using Sora 2, it's super tempting to go wild and generate 100 videos just because you can. Don't do that. Focus on quality over quantity. Use Sora 2 to free up your time and money. Then reinvest that into smaller marketing, better targeting, stronger offers, and deeper relationships with your customers. That's how you win. So here's what I want you to do now. If you found this video valuable, go ahead and hit that like button so more business owners like you can actually discover this stuff and make sure you're subscribed. If you want more practical AI tutorials that save you time and money, no hype, no tech jargon, just real results that you can use today, do it. Drop a comment below. Tell me what your first Sora 2 video is gonna be. Are you thinking of a product demo, maybe a testimonial, or a cool ad for your business? I read every single comment, and if you share your idea, I'll even give you feedback on it. Seriously, I love seeing what you guys come up with. Half the time you give me new ideas for videos. And again, if you want more help turning those ideas into real automations that actually work, come hang out in my school community. It's where I share my templates, step-by-step -step builds, and I help members get their systems up and running. Check that out in the link in the description below. And one last thing, if you run a business and you're still not using AI for content creation, 
You're basically competing with one hand tied behind your back. Tools like Sora 2 are leveling the playing field for small businesses everywhere. So take advantage of it, start experimenting. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video where we're going to take this even further. Just click on the video to my left and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll see you there. Go on, I'm still waiting.